The Douglas County attorney believes road racing led to this woman's death on Dodge Street. Investigators think one of the drivers crashed into her Friday night near 62nd. KTV News Watch 7's Alice McLoon is live with the new details. Alice. Bill Quinesia, the county attorney, says two drivers were racing down Dodge Street here when one of them lost control. Whether it was due to road rage or one car bouncing into the other, the attorney says that will help determine what charges to file after a woman died here. A Friday night street race on Dodge ends in twisted metal after one of the drivers crossed lanes and killed a 22 year old girl, according to the Douglas County attorney. One of them lost control, crossed the center line and hit this other vehicle head on, killing an individual. That was 22 year old Anna Bosma, an occupational therapy student from South Dakota, visiting Omaha with her boyfriend who was riding passenger Friday. He was rushed to recover at a hospital and now friends are learning to live without Bosma. As soon as you were around her, you were having a good day and no matter what you did like with her, it was always like a very memorable experience. The county attorney says charges are pending against two drivers, 26 year old Cameron Robinson in a Buick and 61 year old Mark Carlson, who police say lost control of his Mercedes, crossed into oncoming traffic and struck the 22 year old's car. The county attorney now waiting on more details from police. There's all kinds of things that we're trying to find out or look to, uh, but certainly it could be uh, range anywhere from manslaughter to motor vehicle homicide. Anna Bosma's family and friends long for justice and closure, holding her memory close to their hearts. You don't come across people like that very often where as soon as you're around her, I always say her vibes and like her energy was almost intoxicating. The county attorney's office is also waiting on tests to determine if either of the male drivers were intoxicated at the time. When asked about charges, the county attorney says a driver could face up to 20 years in prison in a case like this. Reporting live, Alex McLoon, KETV News Watch 7.